Hey guys, welcome to Credit to Day 2 of your Foundations of Computing class. We're going to go over uh, your basic use of a search engine. A search engine is uh, that thing uh, called Google that you use to find stuff on the internet. Now you can use Bing if you want to, but uh, frankly Bing just isn't as good. They don't have it figured out quite yet. So uh, go for it if you want to, but uh, your, your search results are not going to be as good. Okay. Uh, something I want to point out before we get any further into this is in your packet there is a page that goes over how to uh, check to see if search results are uh, any good. It's page 15. It's called Search Better. I want you to pull this page out and uh, look at the, this advice because it's good advice. Um, checking for creden the credentials of the person who wrote it, uh, checking footnotes and things like that. And they'll go over this in uh, more detail in the reading for the packet, uh, but make sure you pull that page out and keep that as a reference. Uh, now, when you're at Google, uh, you're just going to type in uh, your search terms. And when I say search terms, I mean just the key terms for what you're looking for. Uh, so let's say you have to write a paper about uh, taxes and tax policy in America. Now, before you drill a hole in your head to let the boredom out, uh, let's try to uh, find some information on the internet. Uh, let's go. Let's start with uh, you. You could type in um, why do people pay taxes. And why do you have to pay taxes pops up. Uh, now you'll notice what happened is Google found all of the web pages that have this question in it. Why do we have taxes? Why do people pay tax? So if you really are looking for an answer to that question, that's a great way to look for the information. But let's say you're actually looking for uh, more of the history of taxation. So asking why I have to pay taxes isn't going to get you there. You're going to need to use keywords like history of taxes. Or this in let's in history of taxes in America or in Latin America, uh, depending on what information you want to find. Now, once you get stuff that pops up, we got Wikipedia first. Wikipedia is a good place to start, uh, but anybody and everybody can edit this if they want to. And they even warn you up here at the top. Look, this may be confusing or unclear to readers. Why? Because people are editing it, changing information. Um, so. It may not be the best place to uh, cite as a source if you're trying to write an article. However, what Wikipedia does have, I'm going to scroll down here to the bottom, is Wikipedia always has references down at the bottom. Now, these references are actually usually legitimate sources, and you can click on them, and they take you to things like scholarly articles. Um, that are great material for a research paper. So Wikipedia is actually a nice place to start looking for stuff because you can just go to the reference section and you can actually uh, read the stuff that they read in order to write their paper and sort of form your own opinion that way. Um, okay, now I'm going to go over how to find stuff. Now let's say we got to this Wikipedia web page, but we still weren't able to find it, the information we were looking for. All you need to do is hit Control F. It brings up this. Uh, search bar at the bottom of the page here. And what you can do is just type in any term you're looking for on the page. So in this case, I'm going to look for uh, the Civil War. I want to, I particularly want to know how the Civil War affected Texas. Now you'll notice that it is still white. Now if I were to type in something that didn't appear on the page, like Civil War, all of a sudden it turns red to let me know that it's not going to uh, turn up any search results. But if I go Civil War here and highlight all, and as you can see it's already started highlighting things me. It'll highlight every occurrence of civil war on the page. And then I can just quickly scan through the page. Oh, here's my civil war information right here. And then I can look through and see if I can find any more. Oh, look, there's more information about the civil war. So it makes finding information on a big old web page really easy. So use that control F function. Um, and then let's talk really fast about the different types of websites you can get information from. You've got, let's say I wanted to find, uh, I was, went to the IRS because the IRS is in charge of taxation in the United States. This is a government-based website, so I'm going to find uh, truthful information, at least truthful as far as the government knows or feels, uh, information about current tax policy. Um, now, if I were to go to another website like the rebirth of reason.com, um, I may not get the same level or quality of information simply because um, 
it could just be one guy. And this Tibber R. Mackin, we don't know who this person is. Now we could do some research about them and try to find out if they're, uh, you know, if they're a professor or just some, some kook writing about uh, taxes and how much they hate them. But really, it could be either way. So until we find out more about Tibber, uh, we don't want to just trust what whatever they're saying about taxes. Now, lastly, you've got this uh, taxpolicycenter.org, which is sort of a middle road. It's not a government website, um, but it's a .org, which while that doesn't always mean it's a better website, um, it's a lot of time it's a better website because .org websites are not trying to make any money. Uh, .com websites are commercial, which means they're trying to, uh, often they're trying to make money off of the websites. .org websites are not. So... Um, they tend to be a little bit more um, trustworthy when it comes to getting information from them. But again, uh, you're going to want to use common sense, and you can use this Snopes.com uh, to try to verify information. And you'll all you'll go over all this in your uh, in your packet in greater detail. But those are the basics of uh, of searching. So again, you want to remember to um, use that find function uh, to find stuff. And try to remember, just use keywords. So take whatever question you wanted to ask and pull out the why or the what part and just get down to the nitty gritty, which is uh, taxation in America or unclogging a toilet or uh, cilantro in salsa recipe, um, whatever it is. And get rid of the how and the what because that's going to pop up a lot of websites that probably won't be super useful for you. All right, guys, I hope this was helpful for you. Thanks for listening and good luck with the class.